SpaceX has finally announced a major update to the Crew Dragon capsule, as it now has the ability to rescue astronauts in addition to several other safety features. These new upgrades could be a sign that the company is finally aiming to have a fully crewed launch sometime this year. Let's take a closer look. Space exploration has been a fascinating topic for centuries, and with the advancements in technology, humans are now able to venture deeper into space than ever before. One of the most significant players in this realm is SpaceX, a private aerospace manufacturer and space transportation company founded by Elon Musk in 2002. One of their most remarkable achievements is the Dragon capsule, which has revolutionized space exploration and paved the way for a new era of human spaceflight. The Dragon capsule is a reusable spacecraft designed and developed by SpaceX to transport crew and cargo to the International Space Station and other low Earth orbit destinations. It was the first privately developed spacecraft to be approved by NASA for crewed missions, and it has been in use since 2012. The Dragon capsule is a critical component of SpaceX's long-term vision to make humanity a multi-planetary species. The Dragon capsule has several key features that make it unique and beneficial for space exploration. Firstly, it is a reusable spacecraft, which is a significant advantage over traditional spacecraft that are discarded after a single use. This means that the cost of launching the Dragon capsule is significantly lower than that of traditional spacecraft, as the only costs associated with each launch are fuel and operational expenses. Another advantage of the Dragon capsule is its versatility. It is designed to carry both crew and cargo, making it ideal for missions to the ISS, where it can deliver supplies and transport astronauts to and from the station. The Dragon capsule is also capable of carrying a significant amount of cargo, with a maximum capacity of over 6,000 kilograms. This makes it possible to carry a wide range of scientific experiments, equipment, and supplies to the ISS, which can be critical for a variety of space-based research projects. The capsule is also equipped with a heat shield that allows it to safely re-enter Earth's atmosphere. This means that the spacecraft can return to Earth with precious scientific samples and other valuable payloads, which is essential for scientific research and the advancement of space exploration. One of the most significant benefits of the capsule is its crewed capability. The spacecraft is designed to carry up to seven astronauts, which is crucial for human space exploration missions. The ability to transport astronauts to the ISS and other destinations in space enables researchers and scientists to conduct experiments and gather data in real time, which is essential for making progress in various fields such as medicine, physics, and biology. In addition to its capabilities, the Dragon capsule has also proven to be a reliable and safe spacecraft. Since its first mission in 2012, the Dragon capsule has completed numerous successful missions to the ISS, and it has consistently demonstrated its ability to deliver supplies and transport crew to and from the station. Its safety record is exemplary, and it has been designed with the highest standards of safety in mind, making it one of the safest spacecraft ever deployed. The Dragon capsule is also equipped with a state-of-the-art avionic system that provides real-time data and telemetry information to mission control. This information is critical for monitoring the spacecraft's performance, and it provides valuable insights into the health and status of the spacecraft during a flight. The avionic system also provides redundancy and backup systems, ensuring that the Dragon capsule can complete its missions even in the event of a failure. Dragon Capsule will play a crucial role in making humans a multi-planetary species by providing reliable and cost-effective means of transporting crew and cargo to future destinations beyond low Earth orbit. Its versatile design and capability to transport both crew and cargo will be essential for conducting experiments and gathering data, as well as for establishing and maintaining a human presence on other planets. The capsule's reusable design will reduce the cost of space exploration, making it more accessible to countries and organizations around the world. This will help to facilitate international collaboration and cooperation, which will be essential for the success of future human missions to other planets. Its crewed capability will also be critical for exploring and colonizing other planets, as it will provide a safe and reliable means of transporting astronauts to and from their destinations. This will be essential for establishing sustainable human settlements on other planets and advancing our understanding of the universe. In addition, the Dragon capsule will be an important component of SpaceX's vision for self-sustaining city on Mars, which will require the transport of large amounts of cargo and crew over a long period of time. The Dragon capsule's versatility and reliability will be critical for ensuring the success of this ambitious mission. As the capsule is expected to carry astronauts into deep space, it is imperative that it is equipped with state-of-the-art rescue systems. 
Rescue systems on crewed space transports are incredibly important for ensuring the safety of astronauts during space missions. A well-designed and reliable rescue system is essential for providing a means of escape in the event of an emergency or system failure and for ensuring that astronauts can return to Earth safely. In the event of a serious problem with a spacecraft, such as a structural failure or a fire, a rescue system must be able to quickly and effectively evacuate the crew to a safe location. This is essential for minimizing the risk of injury or death and for ensuring the survival of the crew. A well-designed rescue system should also be able to function in a variety of different environments, including those encountered during a mission to the Moon or Mars. In addition to providing a means of escape in the event of emergency, a rescue system can also play a critical role in protecting astronauts during the launch and re-entry phases of a mission. During these high-stress periods, the spacecraft is subjected to intense gravitational forces, high speeds, and high temperatures, and a rescue system must be able to provide adequate protection for the crew. The importance of rescue systems on crewed space transports can be traced back to the early days of human spaceflight. The first crewed spacecraft, the Soviet Union's Vostok-1, did not have a rescue system, but subsequent missions included ejection seats or other emergency escape systems. These early systems were basic, but they were critical for ensuring the safety of astronauts in the event of an emergency or system failure. The Apollo program, which put humans on the moon, marked a major milestone in the development of rescue systems for crewed space transports. The Apollo spacecraft included an emergency escape system that would propel the crew to safety in the event of an emergency during launch. This system was tested multiple times and was proven to be effective, providing a measure of safety for the astronauts during one of the most hazardous phases of the mission. Since the Apollo program, the development of rescue systems for crewed space transports has continued, with a focus on improving reliability, efficiency, and safety. The Space Shuttle program, which ran from 1981 to 2011, marked a major advancement in this field. The shuttle's crew escape system was designed to protect astronauts during all phases of the mission, including launch, re-entry, and on-orbit operations. The system was tested multiple times and was proven to be effective, providing a measure of safety for the astronauts during more than 100 missions. With the end of the Space Shuttle program and the advent of commercial crewed space transports, such as the SpaceX Dragon capsule, the importance of rescue systems has become more evident than ever. These new spacecraft must meet strict safety standards and must be equipped with reliable and effective rescue systems to ensure the safety of the astronauts on board. With this in mind, SpaceX has also finally updated its Dragon capsule to have rescue capabilities. Reports state that the capsule is being hastily modified in orbit to return another astronaut to Earth if necessary. NASA plans to take its astronaut Frank Rubio from the Russian Soyuz spacecraft to a Dragon capsule called Endurance, now managing the current SpaceX Crew-5 mission for NASA. The space agency declared to proceed with the refitting of the interior space of the spacecraft by moving an additional passenger seat. The anatomical seat belonging to American astronaut Frank Rubio will be removed from the Russian Soyuz MS-22 spacecraft, which is now docked with the ISS, but is recognized as dangerous for use by astronauts. Frank was brought to the ISS together with two Russians, Sergei Prokopayev and Dmitry Petalin. Thus, during the refit, not four, but five astronauts will be able to return to Earth on endurance if any emergency occurs on the space station. The damaged Soyuz TS-22 can still be used as a rescue spacecraft if something dangerous happens on the ISS before the arrival of the next Soyuz. Even in this case, the removal of the chair will only benefit. Soyuz MS-22 is safer to transport only two astronauts, not three. Endurance was sent to the ISS in October 2022. Its crew of Crew-5 consisted of four people, Nicole Mann and Josh Kasada from NASA, Japanese cosmonauts Koichi Wakada, and Russian Anna Kakina. Fortunately, Dragon capsules are technically designed to carry up to seven people, so there is a place on Endurance to rescue Rubio if necessary. Soyuz MS-22 launched to the ISS in September 2022 for a planned six-month mission, but Rubio, Prokopayev, and Petalin are likely to stay in orbit twice as long. The expansion of the mission for the MS-22 crew is explained by the fact that the next Soyuz will launch without a crew to bring them home. This level of versatility shows that the Dragon capsule can be quickly modified in space in the event of an emergency. In addition to its several life support systems, the capsule can now also act as a rescue transport when needed. If you like this video, you may also enjoy this one, which talks about a major new Starship launch update. 
Do you think the Dragon capsule is capable enough to carry humans to Mars? Please share your thoughts in the comments section below.